Hi guys, Top Pops here, and today we're going to be going through all of my Disney Parks exclusive Funko Pops. So let's get started. Now guys, before we get into this, I do wanna say that this took me forever to find all these figures, probably about a half an hour, just because there are about 20 different figures and they were spread out around the room. Also guys, I feel like I should be wearing a better hat today. <laughs> that's better. All right guys, before we get into the figures here, don't forget to keep your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside the couch or chair, wherever you're sitting at all times. Now, I don't know which one to start with here. I've got so many different ones. Let's start with maybe the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge set because we do have two from there. And these ones are the DJ Rex as well as the Hondo Anaka. And both of these are really cool because they have different stickers from the rest of them. These ones actually have the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge and then it says landing in 2019. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer there so you guys can see that a bit better. That sticker looks really great. It's also kind of metallic and I really do like the Millennium Falcon as well as the other X-Wings on there as well. Now guys both of these look really great. I'm taking a closer look at the Hondo Anaka which actually goes with the ride where you pilot the Millennium Falcon. He's the one that kind of directs you and tells you where to go. And if you guys are wondering what DJ Rex is from he is the droid that was originally in Star Tours. Now it's C-3PO but it used to be this guy right here. And to be honest I really like C-3PO but I think DJ Rex was kind of cool. After that guys we're gonna be going over to Inside Out and we have this one right here which is the Rainbow Unicorn. And I thought it would also show off the sticker there that goes with the rainbow unicorn this is the disney park sticker that goes with pretty much all of the rest of them and it looks pretty great now i'm not 100 sure why this one actually came to disney parks because there wasn't really anything that was at the disney parks for inside out i remember when we went they had like a little section of a lot of the rainbow unicorn stuff but other than that there wasn't like a new ride that came out or some inside out thing it was just kind of like this one showed up at the parks and maybe there was something that i missed but if you guys know what it is let me know in the comment section below and don't get me wrong i love this figure i'm just not too sure why this one was exclusive to the park now, after that one, we're going to be going over to the Pirates of the Caribbean, where we have Red. Now, this is the original Red. There was two different versions of this one. There was one that came out a little bit later on that was metallic. I didn't pick up that one because I already had this one. I actually saw the other one at the park, but we were in California, and it's really hard to put a lot of stuff in your suitcase, and I knew that I already had this one, so I didn't need to get two. And if you guys are wondering where Red comes into play, this is actually a newer part of the ride where they switched it. Instead of there being pirates auctioning off women, it's Red kind of yelling at the pirates, and I feel like that's a little bit better. And another thing that I really like about this one is that she's got her blaster off to the side as well as her foot on a barrel. And I think that might be the only pop with a barrel under their foot. I mean, I think so. Now guys, let's go a little bit down the pathway over to the Haunted Mansion. And this one right here is the Disney Parks exclusive Madame Leota. Now there are two different versions of Madame Leota. There's this one here, which is the glow in the dark version. And then there's also the common one, which was just available everywhere. Now there are two different versions of the Madame Leota. There was a non glow in the dark one that was just available everywhere. And then there was this one here exclusive to the Disney Parks. But guys, this one does look really great. And if you guys are wondering what glows, it's her head inside of the ball. And oh guys, this one actually glows really well. And the reason it glows well is because it's the glow in the dark vinyl and it's not glow-in-the-dark paint. And if you guys are wondering why the glow-in-the-dark vinyl is better, it's because the paint is put on top of the normal vinyl and it's kind of streaky. Streaky? Streaky. <laughs> oh, also guys, I want to mention that I'm only doing the Disney Parks exclusive Haunted Mansion ones just because if we did every single one, we'd be here forever. Actually guys, speaking of that, I do have another Haunted Mansion figure, which is Ezra in Buggy. Now this one is really great. I'm a huge fan of the way this one looks. I wish they made this one glow in the dark because I feel like it would have been even better if they had Ezra inside of their glowing, but it's still a really cool figure. And this is actually one of my mom's favorite rides. So I'm so glad that they are making so many different Haunted Mansion ones. Also, they've never made a figure that I've seen anyways of the Buggy buggy like this, the Doom Buggy. So this is really cool that Funko did make one of these. And I guess because the Doom Buggy does move, this is considered a pop ride. You know what guys, let's go over to Main Street next and check out this figure, which is the Dapper Dans. Now this is the one that I was saying was kind of a stretch when it comes to being a Disney Parks exclusive. This one was shared with the Disney Parks, so that's why I put it in the video, but technically it's a D23 exclusive. And if you guys want to see the sticker on that, there it is right there guys. It is the D23 logo with the 2019 under it. This is actually a really cool sticker and most of the Disney Parks ones are kind of like that silver metallic like that. I'm actually a huge fan of the set. I love the way they did it, especially the way they're posing where the two on this side are posing this way and then the two on this side are posing this way to almost like look towards the center of the box. And if you guys ever go to Disney and are on Main Street for long enough, you're probably gonna see these guys. Now guys, next up, let's take a look at this orange bird right here. Now this is the Florida orange bird, of course, because of Florida oranges. And this one does look really great. So this is a character you only see in Florida and not in Disneyland. 
I am actually a huge fan of the way this one looks, especially with the glitter on there. Now, there are three different versions of this one. There's this one, as well as the normal one, and the flocked version. And now, Funko couldn't just give Florida an exclusive figure. They also had to give one to California, so they came out with the Abominable Snowman. And this one here was for the Matterhorn bobsled, and this one was only available in California, like I had said, and this figure looks really great. And I've actually been on this ride a couple times, and there are two different Abominable Snowmen that kind of like pop out at you throughout the ride, so I think it is pretty cool that they did make this figure. And now, guys, I don't just have this Abominable Snowman, I also have the Abominable Snowman in the Matterhorn bobsled. Now, this one right here is really, really well done. I am a huge fan of the way this figure looks. It is really, really cool. I especially like that they gave it the track there with a little bit of snow on top. And my favorite part about this figure is that he's not just sitting there kind of scared. They made him look very angry. He's got one hand on the bar and then the other hand trying to swat at you. And overall, guys, this is just really, really well done. And there's not just one version of this. There's this one, then there's Mickey Mouse sitting in the bobsled, as well as a Donald Duck one coming out very soon. You know what, guys? Let's go do some Marvel rides. Let's check out the Guardians of the Galaxy Mission Breakout. And if you guys don't know what the ride's about, it's almost like the collector is trying to collect the Guardians of the Galaxy. So you, Rocket, Star-Lord, Gamora, Drax, and Groot are trying to break out of there to save themselves. And there are some ups and downs along the way, but it is a really, really fun ride. And I really do like the way they did these figures. So for the one here, it's Rocket with the Walkman, and then this one here is just the Golden Collector. Now, one thing that I really like about the Collector figure is that he's holding some sort of, I want to say iguana, but they're in space. So it's probably not an iguana. It's probably some sort of like alien lizard or something like that, but it still looks really great. You know what, guys? Let's take a spin over at the Mad Tea Party and check out the Alice in the teacup. Now, one thing that I really love about this figure is that Alice's hair is actually blowing in the wind. So it looks like she's spinning the teacup and it's almost like she's in motion. And if you guys want to see this one a little bit closer up, there is Alice in the teacup right there. And you can actually get a couple different teacups if you wanted to. There's this one here with Alice inside, then there's one with the Cheshire Cat, and then one coming out very soon with the Mad Hatter. And the one for the Mad Hatter is coming with the 65th anniversary of Disneyland, and there are a couple different versions of it there. And the Mad Hatter, as well as a bunch of other figures, are coming for the 65th anniversary. Next up, guys, let's take a splash on a ride that will be disappearing very soon, which is Splash Mountain. Now, this one here is probably one of my favorite sets that I got from the Disney parks, and it's sad to see this ride going, but I totally understand why they're swapping it. They will be swapping it to the Princess and the Frog. But this one right here is a huge deal. This is one of those packs that I remember they were still selling in the parks after they said they were closing it, and this thing went for a pretty penny. This set here comes with Br'er Rabbit, Br'er Fox, and Br'er Bear, and I love the way this three pack looks. And this was for the 30th anniversary, which was in 2019, and if you guys want to see the back of the box, there it is right there. And now guys, they didn't just make this three pack for the ride, they also made this one here, which is the Splash Mountain Log that comes with Br'er Bear and Br'er Rabbit. And what I love about this figure is that they made it so the water is splashing around the log there, which means you're probably going down the bigger waterfall. Also, it's funny, the front of the log also has the Br'er Rabbit, and even that is popified. And if you guys want to see the back of the box, it actually has some really nice art there. Just for fun, guys, because the ride is closing, let's check to see what these two are worth on the Funko app. All right, guys, let's check the three pack first. It is at... $90. All right, guys, now let's check to see what the pop ride is worth. It's coming in at... Ooh, 185. And yes, guys, these pops are pretty expensive, but I'm too big of a fan of this ride to get rid of them. Next up, let's go over to Epcot and say hi to Figment because it is the International Food and Wine Festival. And with that, guys, we have two figures here. We've got the normal Figment as well as the chef Figment. And if you guys don't know who Figment is, he's actually Epcot's mascot. And he even has his own ride there near the World Showcase. So if you haven't been on it, I totally recommend riding it. And here he is right there, guys. He is a purple dragon and he looks pretty funny. And if you guys want to see what he really looks like, not popified, there he is right there. And then, like I had said, there is also also this version here, which is part of the Epcot International Food and Wine Festival. And because he is the mascot of Epcot, they like to put him in a couple different outfits. And then if you guys want to see the back of the box, there is the entire logo made of food. Oh, and, and also wine. Oh, guys, where they normally have the number in the corner, the circle for this one is the golf ball. Now this next Disney Parks Pop is my first one ever. This is Indiana Jones from Indiana Jones Adventure, Temple of the Forbidden Eye. And this one was actually kind of crazy. We just happened to be going to Disney that week and then that Friday they were selling this figure. So I'm so glad that I could get one because this is a really cool figure. And this was the first time you could ever get an Indiana Jones. There's only ever been exclusive Indiana Jones figures. So this one right here was the one where he actually had the stone as well as a machete instead of the golden idol. And of course now there's more Indiana Jones figures, but back 
back then, it was either this one or the San Diego Comic-Con one, and both of them were really hard to get. You know what, guys? I'm kind of feeling like Dole Whip, so let's go over to the Enchanted Tiki Room where we have Pele and Barker Parrot. This, if you guys don't know, is part of an animatronic ride, which is called the Enchanted Tiki Room, and inside, they have so many different animatronic birds as well as tikis. And if you guys haven't been on this ride, just from looking at these two right here, they are very unique characters. Now, if you guys haven't been on the ride, you guys probably wouldn't know who these are, but you might know the very delicious snack outside, which is Dole Whip. Well, guys, we're kind of winding down on my collection, and before we go, we do have one more thing that I want to show you, which is the Disney Skyliner. If you guys don't know what this is, this is actually a newer mode of transportation, and whether you're traveling to the parks, such as Epcot or Hollywood Studios, or going back to your hotel, like the Art of Animation or Pop Century, this is a really cool mode of transportation that I've never really seen before. And if you guys want to see it a little bit closer up, there is the front of it, and then if you guys look inside, Mickey is actually standing there waiting for you. And this is pretty much exactly what the Skyliner looks like. There's a bunch of different cars you can get with different characters on the sides, but for this one, they chose the classic Disney characters. Characters such as Mickey, Minnie, Pluto, Chip, and Dale are all found on the sides of this car. And if you guys want to see the back of the box, there's some really great art there, and it says there's magic in the air, and then it also tells you the different places it travels to, such as Epcot and Hollywood Studios. But yeah, that just looks really nice. And because you are up in the air on a cable, it doesn't go to every single park and hotel, but it does go to a good amount of them. Well, anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching, and thank you for coming along with me on my ride through my Disney Parks Funko Pops, and I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been Upside Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. If you're new around here, you should subscribe to keep up to date with the channel. I do upload every day, after all. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you. And you can always like the video if you know, well, liked the video. And if a video every day isn't enough for you, you can always check me out on many other platforms. I do post pretty much every day over there as well. Oh, and I also wanted to mention that due to popular demand, we now have Top Pops merch. Yeah, I know, I know, you're welcome. We have a bunch of different designs and the shirts come in 16 different colors. That's right, 16 different colors. So there's literally a color for everyone. There's also phone cases, sweaters, and since so many of you asked, yes, we finally have wall clocks. I'll have it all linked in the description down below for you guys to check out. Anyways, that's gonna do it for today, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.